Hey YouTube, welcome back. Um, okay, couple things first off. I kind of ended that a little abruptly, so there's a couple things I didn't explain. First off, as you may have noticed when I was fighting some of the monsters with my sword, as opposed to like breaking up into like the stars and they did in my first couple videos, they turned into flame. That is because the flame sword, or uh, the flame scimitar, the scimitar is much more, po is more powerful than my original sword and actually turns them into flame. And that's good. That means that I'm actually doing more damage. As a fighter, a fighter will do more damage with the sword. The rod will not. So just to make kind of a point there, let's uh, keep uh, talking to people here. Oh yeah, and by the way, I am still working on the video lag. I really am trying to work on it. Welcome to Horan, the sinking town. Ah, so this is Horan, and it is sinking. Oh dear. Welcome to Horan, the sinking town. Yep, there's the two guys talking the same. Let's talk to this lady up here. See what she has to say. Get out of my way! I'm busy moving! Well, yes, I would be moving too, but you don't have to be rude about it. Here's another lady. Let's talk to her. I'm sad to leave my dear old town. Oh, yeah, no, this guy's funny. I'm Beckel. I will never leave this town no matter what! And, folks, he means it. He, he will not leave this town, I guarantee it. <laughs> oh, I remember what I wanted to say now. Okay. What I wanted to say was... There is uh, the uh, training course I took on Monicum. Um, the professor did not really explain what Monicum is. As you can probably guess from the title of the spell, Monicum is a spell that will bless you with money. If you cast a spell, you will max out your coins, your keys, your rupee seeds, your bread, your mushrooms, and all your other side items. That's pretty good. <laughs> And unfortunately, if you ever get this spell, you only get to use it once. I will be getting this spell during this Let's Play, but I just wanted to explain what that was. So let's uh, keep going here. And, hmm, let's talk to some people. Farouk is a great magician who defeated Gora Gora with Isla. Ooh. Okay, remember Gora Gora. That's going to be a name that's going to pop up again. So Farouk's a great magician, and Farouk is there. So I think he's talking about inside here. It says he's Farouk. Well, I think it's kind of rude to just barge in, so let's knock. Hello? Knock, knock, knock. No? No response? Okay, I think we're just going to have to go in. All right? I'm the Lamp Spirit Farouk. Oh, let me do it. I want to do a genie voice. I'm the Lamp Spirit Farouk. If I was in 23, you are the descendant of Isfa. You are my master. I've been waiting for you for a long time. Now let's begin our adventure. And Farouk joins. Sweet! Now, if we go to my uh, status screen here, we can see under PAL that we have Farouk. We have him. Congratulations, folks. We now have two partners. Um, also, now that this is filled in, I actually remember what goes here. These are my magic spells. These are my great magic spells. These are my items. That's what goes in this location. Now I remember. And that's my, obviously, my weapon and my, my sword and my rod. Okay, so well, we really have no reason to be here now, so let's get out of here. Um, so basically, now that we have Farouk, we basically just have to get back to the future to jump to the North Cape. But, there's one thing I'd like to get before I leave, and I bet you can guess what it is. Listen to the people of the town. Yeah, 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 we're gonna listen. Okay. So I'm gonna switch back to the scimitar. Oh, bandits. Now we actually are gonna need a little bit of money for something we have to do prior to leaving this chapter. This, uh, prior to going back to the future. Armories appear. Let's fight these guys. Okay, now you notice we now have two partners. And despite the fact that I was taught to use the Signus formation for only the Basido squad, I can actually just choose Signus, and lo and behold, it is Corona and Farouk who are part of the Signus formation. So let's fight. Now, you may remember that I had uh okay, well I'll explain two things. You may remember that I learned the magic of Bolter one. I Bolter at one. I can't use that magic during combat. I can only use it on the overworld. Or at least in RPG combat, I can't use it. I think that's kind of bad, because I can use Bolter, Bolter at 2 and 3 in combat, but not 1. Go figure. But I can use this magic called Gagnator, and that involves all of us attacking. But if I recall correctly, I don't think Corona has enough experience to use it. Let's see. No magic points is not enough. Corona doesn't have the power right now. You know she only has 6 magic points. So I guess we have to do this the old-fashioned way. So I'll fight. I'll have Corona use my Mai. 
Now here's Farouk's attack. Now Farouk can fight or he can use Gilzane. I'll have him fight to see what kind of fighting ability he has. The armor is going to use Gilzay, just shooting some fireballs at us, and did eight points of damage. Corona's going to use Mai Mai, and got them both. Nice Corona. Farouk's going to attack. Now, this is what I think is a glitch in the game. Farouk attacks twice, and my best explanation for that, I mean, I've always thought it was a, 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 um, a glitch in the game, but I guess the explanation can be that since he's a genie, he's really, really powerful, so he must be attacking with both fists. So I'll just have people attack now, and I do have Gilzade, so I'm going to use it. You can do 8 damage to an opponent. We'll just keep on attacking here. I'm sure we're going to win this now. Oh boy! Armor's one sang a song. And this little group attack to all of us. Well, that was just rude. Use Farouk's magic. He's going to use Gilzade again. So Corona hit zero, and so you know she ate a piece of bread, so she's back up to her top 30 now. And notice, this is something I wanted to talk about, and we beat him. I am the only person who actually gains experience points. My party members don't. If I level up, they level up as well. Mention that. Got eight experience points and 42 rupees, and we got a hammer. Now, this hammer can be used to summon shooting stars to destroy all enemies. That's pretty cool. Here's some more bad guys. Some sharks. Okay, I'm gonna equip Bolter. I wanna show you what this does. Nice. And just the heck, I'm gonna use it on these sharks too. Alright, some ponage. Nice. So we're going to head here, and they mentioned a maze southeast of town, and this is the maze they're talking about that has the great magic of Manicom. Now, I have no idea what these orange things are supposed to be. I have absolutely no clue. They look like they're supposed to be made of, like, copper or something, but I really have absolutely no idea what they are supposed to be portraying. I mean, they're not horses or anything. But they are worth five experience points each. You'll notice that my experience is going up, and we have just encountered... Blimir Blimro. Let's select these two. Now, as someone mentioned, a Gagnator is the great magic that the Cygnus Formation can use, but, and I can use it on any kind of enemy. What it will essentially do is it attempts to kill enemies outright. And unfortunately, Corona does not have the power to do it right now, so we're just going to fight, use our basic attacks to fight these guys. They only got three hit points each, so I think this will be a pretty quick battle. So I'm getting pretty strong. Farouk's going to go two damage to two of them. Now I'll attack, and there goes the first one. And these guys really are not that strong. Let's do it. This battle is over! Them. Got six experience points and three rupees. Kind of light on the rupees. Uh, rupees. I'm sorry if I said rupees. I'm not trying to get sued, you know. <laughs> we got more of these guys to fight. This is actually a really good place in this chapter to build up some experience. Now, these kind of portals right here are really important because if you're going. Because this is where you can usually find most of the major events. And here's the wise man. I'm the wise man in this world. I shall use the power of the sacred blue star, Archie, and grant you the great magic of Monacom! With a flash of light, we now know Monacom. I can only use this magic once, and it has to be during the Alark Solar Eclipse or it won't work. Got another money bag. Now I'm walking out. I just want to kill some more of these enemies. Actually, I just realized something. We have a carpet we can escape from Palace of Mazes. Let's uh, teleport to Rudoria. And so we fly on the carpet. It's kind of funny that we have more than one partner, and yet Corona is the only one on the carpet. Um, okay. 
So she's going to teleport us right in front of the town, and I'm actually out of time for this video, so I will catch up with you later. Hope. See ya.